Have you ever wondered how a creature without arms or legs hunts its prey? Welcome to the fascinating and mysterious world of snakes, where extraordinary adaptations replace the need for limbs. These incredible reptiles have honed their hunting skills over millions of years, developing unique strategies to catch and consume their prey. From the stealthy approach to the lightning-fast strike, every moment is a testament to nature's ingenuity. So, how exactly does a snake hunt? Let's unravel the mystery of how snakes hunt. To understand how snakes hunt, we need to start at the very beginning, the detection of prey. Snakes are truly fascinating creatures that have evolved over millions of years to become efficient hunters. Their hunting process begins long before the actual strike with the detection of prey. Snakes are not like us. They don't rely on their eyesight or hearing as much as they rely on their extraordinary sense of smell. Imagine being able to smell with your tongue. That's exactly what snakes do. They flick their forked tongues in the air, picking up tiny chemical particles. When the tongue is retracted, these particles are analyzed by a specialized organ in the roof of their mouth, the Jacobson's organ, helping them identify potential meals in their vicinity. But there's more to their sensory arsenal. Some snakes, particularly the pit vipers, pythons, and boas, have heat-sensitive organs or pit organs on their faces. These remarkable organs allow them to detect the infrared radiation or body heat emitted by warm-blooded prey, even in complete darkness. This is akin to having built-in night vision goggles, enabling them to precisely locate their prey. Snakes, therefore, combine these extraordinary senses to detect, locate, and identify their prey. Each flick of the tongue, each subtle shift in heat, all contribute to the snake's understanding of its surroundings and potential food sources. Once they detect their prey, the real action begins. Having located its prey, the snake is ready to strike. This isn't a haphazard attack but rather a calculated move. It's an expression of the snake's predatory prowess, a testament to millions of years of evolution. The snake sizes up its target, gauging the right distance. Then, in a blink, it strikes with lightning speed and pinpoint accuracy. Its fangs, like nature's hypodermic needles, deliver a cocktail of toxins that immobilize the prey. Now, let's delve into the world of constrictors, snakes that employ a different hunting technique. These species don't rely on venom to subdue their victims, instead they use their muscular bodies to constrict or squeeze their prey. Pythons, boas, and anacondas fall into this category. Once they strike and latch onto their prey, they quickly coil their bodies around it applying immense pressure. Interestingly, they don't crush their prey as commonly believed, rather they squeeze tightly enough to halt the flow of blood to the vital organs, causing a quick and efficient suffocation. This process of constriction is a fascinating display of power and precision. Each time the prey exhales the snake tightens its grip, leaving no room for inhaling. This rhythmic squeezing continues until the prey is completely incapacitated. After the prey is incapacitated, it's time for the snake to enjoy its meal. This is the culmination of the hunt, the final act in this deadly dance between predator and prey. The final step in the snake's hunting process is perhaps the most fascinating, swallowing the prey whole. Now you might wonder how can a snake consume something larger than its head? The answer lies in the snake's remarkable jaw. Unlike humans, a snake's lower jaw is not fused at the front, instead it's connected by a stretchy ligament that allows the jaw to separate widely. This unique adaptation, combined with a flexible skull, enables the snake to stretch its mouth around prey, much larger than its head. Once the prey is inside the snake's mouth, the snake uses its curved teeth, which point backwards to slowly pull the prey further in. The swallowed prey then moves into the snake's stomach, where digestion begins. This process can take several days or even weeks depending on the size of the prey. And that, my friends, is how a snake successfully hunts and consumes its prey. Let's quickly recap what we've learned about the snake's hunting process. Our slithering friend first detects its prey, using its keen senses to locate a meal. Then comes the swift strike, a sudden precise move that takes the prey by surprise. Some snakes, like the python, employ constriction, squeezing the life out of their prey. Finally the snake swallows the prey whole, a feat made possible by a highly flexible jaw. Understanding these creatures helps us appreciate the complexity and efficiency of nature's designs. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of the natural world.